In this video, we're going to take a look at how to manage your files inside of FTP Voyager. Here, we have already established a connection to our remote server. You can drag and drop files simply by clicking on them and dragging them to a different folder. You can change the name of a file or a folder simply by double clicking on it gently, which will cause the name to become highlighted and editable. Here, I'm going to change the name of this folder to IMG. Hit enter to apply your changes. Changing the permissions of a file involves right clicking on the file itself and from the context menu selecting the property slash chmod options. Here I will set the permissions to this file to read, write, and execute on the user end, read, write, execute on the group end, and for the rest of the world only read and execute options. This gives me a rewrite execute value of 775. Let's press the apply button to commit our changes. As you can see, the new permissions have been created. You can also rename a file or folder by right clicking on it and from the context menu select rename. That's all there is to it. Congratulations, you now know how to manage your files inside of FTP Voyager.